Hi guys, in this video today we're going to talk about what you can do with a high ball. So that's when your opponents have hit a really high lob, either the ceiling is high or you're outside and that ball's gone up super high and you're getting in position. In this video we're going to talk about what your options are with that next shot. There's a few things to consider when it comes to the shot selection. First of all, you need to assess the depth of the lob. If it's going to be a short lob, then you can just be aggressive and you can let it bounce or without the bounce and you can attack that ball. If it's deeper, you need to decide, is this going to be one of those annoying balls that bounces and goes over the back fence so you lose the point and therefore you need to block that ball before the bounce so you don't have that happening? Or is it going to be in the middle of the court here and you have time to play a normal bandeja? The second thing to consider is where your opponents are. And this is something that your partner, he really needs to communicate this to you. Because if one of them is back, or both are back, then there's less pressure on the smash, and you can hit the bandeja to the person at the back, and then come back to your net position. But if they're up to the net, then you need to choose that shot according to them being at the volley position, and you might need to hit a different type of shot, which we'll look at now. So here you see a serve down the tee, a good return, a nice high lob. I've selected to play after that back glass because I knew it would bounce away from there. And that's really where you need to identify that shot. If it's a deep ball that you feel will come off the glass, that might be an easier option than hitting the bandeja. Here I've hit the bandeja to try and keep that net position. I see it's a high lob, it's a deep lob, but I really want to keep the net and I hit control to the corner. Then I can step forward for the shorter one. So in this situation where your opponents have rushed forward, they've probably hit a high lob from the back and they've come up because they want to block that next bandeja of yours. And if this is early in the match and you haven't experienced a lot of these points so far in the match, then I would recommend going for this bandeja, going either down to the center or to the cross court, going for the spaces in the court, whatever you're more comfortable with of playing into those angles. If this has already happened a few times and they've blocked those balls and you're feeling under pressure and you know that they're in good positions, then one of the next things you can do is hit a fast, aggressive ball and go for the body. Now, I know this isn't very uh, sociable and if you're playing in a recreational game, you might not want to do this, but if it's in a serious match and you want to win the point, this is often a good way to play is to go for that body because then they don't have time to react and also they'll think twice on the next time getting really close to the net. This is a very effective shot, the high lob, and it's also quite a psychological shot. So if they hit a high lob and you don't have confidence and you start pushing that ball, they know that they can continue to hit these high lobs and you're going to feel under pressure. And also you're going to get less and less confidence because you're kind of pushing that ball and it's going to get worse and worse. So when they hit those first few, particularly at the beginning, but really the whole way through, if you can hit that shot with intention, so you purposefully going for a type of shot, even if you miss, you don't give that outward impression that you're not confident on it, you're still going for that ball, you will start to make them and also they'll think twice about hitting that type of shot. So you really want to hit a good bandeja, have your racket up early, try and get a nice solid contact to put the ball back into the corners and get your net position back, which is again the point of the bandeja. This is a good point to show that the controlled smash can be as effective, if not more effective than power. So here, the first of the smashes, we have four or five in this point where all we're doing is controlling that bandeja and ball down into the corner. Again, another one down that line, controlled off double glass. And again, another control, this time to the fence to finish the point.